What's going on, everybody? This is Davon Marquise West, aka Mark West from Study with Mark. And today we're going to be talking about the Human Growth and Development CLEP exam. This is one of those exams that you could literally compile together a bunch of flashcards and study those like no tomorrow for a few weeks. And there's a high probability that you will pass this exam. Now, I'm going to give you a quick overview of the exam. I'm going to give you some tips and tricks from a test taker's perspective because I have taken this exam before and I think you might be curious to know how I feel about it. And I'm going to give you some really, really great resources that I think are just top tier and really, in my opinion, all you need. Here we go. This is a little summarization of the College Board website, particularly the page on the CLEP exam for human growth and development. Now. I am going to put the link in the description for you. So fear not if you would like to read up on that, if you haven't already, it's very informative. They pretty much give you everything you need in terms of what's gonna be on the exam. For sake of time and efficiency, I just did a quick little summary. And these are what I think in essence are the most important things. Now, the way these exams are broken down, they're, they're usually broken down by topics and subtopics. You have your main topic and you'll have a percentage correlated to that topic for this particular exam you have a bunch of topics with small percentages and it can get a little confusing so i'm going to help you figure out exactly what you need to focus on so this exam is about 90 questions and you're going to have about 90 minutes to answer each question so that's about one minute per question now i always recommend when it comes to taking any standardized exam it's best to go through the exam and answer everything that you can with at least 90% certainty and then go back and answer everything that you were a little unsure about. And this exam is no different. It's very vocabulary intensive. So I always harp on vocabulary and terminology. I've been harping on vocabulary since I started this channel back in late 2016. It's super important. What you need to know. Theoretical perspectives, including theories of human development, such as psychoanalytic and cognitive behavioral and humanistic theories parental development including conception fertilization and embryonic and fetal development physical cognitive and social development of infants and children as well as factors that can influence that also you need to understand cognitive and social development of adolescents factors that influence the development during the adolescent stages adulthood and aging physical cognitive and social development of adults and the elderly again this is just a little summarization i'm going to put the link in the description for you now you may or may not know this but there are a lot of concepts in this exam that you're going to be tested on that you can also find in the psychology exam for example a human development psychoanalytic cognitive behavioral humanistic theories those are all psychology concepts so when we get to the resources section I'm going to show you how you can use a psychology textbook from OpenStax to help you study for this exam. I'm going to help you with that, so please don't even worry, I got you covered. Now this is my favorite part of these videos. Tips and tricks from a test taker's perspective, okay? As I mentioned earlier, I did take this exam a while back, and I don't remember off the top of my head what I got. I will actually put a link in the description to the very first review video I did of that exam. And you can check that out whenever you get a chance. But these are things that I wish I would have known before I took this exam. Now, these are not answers to any questions. I'm not sharing any, you know, crazy knowledge from the exam that's not already public. But in terms of helping you sort of narrow in on what to expect, these things that I'm about to show you with 90% certainty, expect to see them on your exam. Now, you definitely want to understand the different methodologies of research, correlation, experimental, understand the different types of research studies, right? Observational study. What is an observational study for? What is the purpose of it? Same thing with cross-sectional. Same thing with longitudinal. You want to know what case study is. You want to know what the purpose of clinical research is. You want to understand different types of learning, habituation, conservation theory, observational learning. You want to understand different concepts. Again, these are from psychology, things like classical conditioning, operant conditioning, cognition training. You want to understand psychological states of development, trust versus mistrust, autonomy versus shame and doubt, initiative versus guilt, industry versus inferiority, 
you are going to more than likely, again, I say this with some pretty high certainty, see these people on your exam. Just to name a few. Noam Chomsky, Albert Bandura, John Watson, B.F. Skinner, Ivan Pavlov, Lawrence Kohlberg, Elizabeth Kubler-Ross, John Piaget. These are all people who have made significant contributions in the world of psychology, cognition, developmental psychology, human growth and development overall. So please take note of those. Again, for sake of time and efficiency, I'm not going to go through this entire study guide. But if you are interested, I most certainly will leave a link in the description for you. Now let's get into some resources. These are resources that I just feel are top tier. Um, they're free for the most part. And they, I mean, they're just really great. Okay, they're just absolutely phenomenal. First things first, Modern States is an incredible, incredible organization. And they are all about helping people get access to college credit at a very affordable price. They're big proponents of CLEP and this entire website all these courses were all created to help people pass their CLEP exam. The person behind this, I can't think of his name right now, and I feel really bad. He's a very wealthy individual, if I'm not mistaken, I believe he's a billionaire. He's a really big proponent in helping as many people as possible get affordable access to education, and this is his contribution now. The really cool thing about this is that they don't just have any, you know, Joe Schmoes on here talking about human growth and development. No, 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 no. They have actual college professors teaching you about the material all right and i think that that's really important i highly recommend you sign up for an account with modern states especially if you have some time on your hands okay if you have about four weeks to six weeks to really put some good study in time in really learn the concepts if you don't have that much time still create an account and just brush up on some topics brush up on some concepts that you might have a little trouble understanding the other cool thing about this organization if you go through all of the material in the course, they will send you a voucher to take your exam for free. My God, listen, these exams are getting more and more expensive every year. All right, when I first started, they were like $75. Now they're almost 100 bucks. In my opinion, you would be a fool not to take them up on this offer. Next up on the list, we have the official exam guide from the College Board themselves. You can purchase one of these from the College Board for like 10 bucks, download it, and you have everything you need right then and there. What these are really good for is the practice questions man you got to test yourself you have to get a baseline of where you are i'm telling you that is going to be so good for you to have that foundational knowledge you'll be able to determine okay i'm really good in the areas of theoretical perspective but i need to brush up on parental development or development in the adolescent stage right so it's just always good to get a baseline guys and this is the perfect uh, resource super affordable super inexpensive and the other really cool thing about this is that you kind of get an idea of how the exam is going to go right i always say the material the subject matter it doesn't change how it's presented to you might be different but the material doesn't change human growth and development is human growth and development so this is a really great resource to have in your toolbox next up we have open stacks okay now, I talk about OpenStax all the time. I talk about all these resources all the time because they're just so phenomenal. This is dope. I really fell in love with OpenStax. Now, if you don't know about them, uh, let me tell you really quick. They are an organization. They get together college professors from all over the United States, and they create these very comprehensive textbooks. They're peer-reviewed, and, I mean, they're just great, man. There's a bunch of colleges all over the country that use them. They're free. I think that's probably my favorite thing about this organization is the textbooks are absolutely free. Now, you can order a hard copy textbook. Obviously, that costs money, but I just downloaded this from the site. I created an account, downloaded it, and this is the perfect textbook to use to help you with your human growth and development exam. And I'm going to tell you why, because you will not find another textbook on the Internet, in my opinion, that the table of contents literally mirrors the college board breakdown. As a matter of fact, the college board themselves recommend OpenStax when you take courses on modern states. They even recommend using OpenStax textbooks. This is obviously for the psychology exam and for psychology courses. But like I said earlier, there's a bunch of concepts that overlap 
from human growth and development and psychology. I mean, human growth and development basically is psychology, right? It's just a subset of psychology. For example, lifespan development, memory, thinking and intelligence, learning, sensation and perception. These are all things that are going to be on your human growth and development exam. Last but not least, as far as resources go, you know, I got to plug my own brand. I got to plug my own company, man. Studywithmark.com, soon to be called studious.com, because we are studious. We are all about learning. We're all about gathering knowledge. And when it comes to exams, specifically CLEP exams, I want to do my absolute best to make sure you have everything that you need just like the tagline says your starting point begins here but you know what else i have i have this free course here it's called how to study for clep and i literally lace up your tennis shoes on how to put together the most comprehensive study guide i go through all the resources that we've already touched on but i go way more in depth and it's free so sign up now okay what are you waiting for sign up now and if you want some flashcards, if you like that study guide that i showed you earlier those are all available for you on a paid plan and it's super super affordable i mean it's so affordable like i don't i just i couldn't even figure out how to make it more affordable if i made it any more affordable it would be free and then it wouldn't exist eventually because i wouldn't have money to pay for server space and i wouldn't have money to pay for the website and all this maintenance and all that jazz hit me up if you have any questions comments concerns whatever my number is 619-432-5947 Email me, Mark, at studywomark.com. If you got any value whatsoever out of this video, please, please, please like and subscribe. I'm trying to educate as many people as I possibly can on CLEP. I'm trying to alleviate all the fears, all the confusion, all the anxiety. I'm just trying to make this process as easy as possible. So if you could, please do me that favor. I would most, most appreciate it. Also, leave me some constructive criticism. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of this video ask me some questions if i don't have the answer i definitely will get it for you thank you guys so much i appreciate you till next time i'm out